it is extremely, extremely difficult to succeed in the United States, even though most people think that this is the land of all opportunities. So I am Adriana Granados, you can call me Adriana. I am the CEO and founder of Pixgift. So Pixgift is an image-based platform that augments the, the emotional influence that images hold uh, in order to improve the giving experience, the online giving experience, uh, strengthen communities and raise funds. And we help nonprofits but also individuals to raise funds. And those can be a fundraiser, but also can be a wedding, can be um, a graduation, uh, any life's uh, milestone event. It was really difficult 2019 because I was <clears throat> trying to please stakeholders that, rather than finding the or, or following the purpose why I created Pixkit. And those stakeholders, they wanted to see numbers, um, the growth, measure the growth. And for me, the wins are not in the... There are many ways that you can measure your successes, <clears throat> and I measure my successes. Every time that a, a campaign is started and a donor gives money to... To, I mean, to support a cause or to support somebody, uh, that is a big impact. I am facilitating that. And uh, so my, I have an indirect uh, implication or an indirect uh, impact on the life of other people. So if I just can be the channel for money to arrive to a, hunger, uh, a, per a person facing hunger, or for a scholarship, or for, I mean, there are so many um, small businesses. Recently, we, we finished a campaign for Soy Emprendedor that they raised $20,000 for 40 small businesses. I am facilitating, facilitating that. Um, so for me, every single donor is a win. And, um, but that's my purpose. It's not necessarily the purpose of uh, stakeholders. So I honestly, I was miserable. I was uh, losing my way in so many ways, um, so stressed, which I, I don't have to do that. Uh, I can continue doing and make, or making a better world for other people. And that's the real purpose that I have. Well, I didn't get any investor, and that's one of the of the disappointments that I had in 2019. I gave myself this year because I have seen a peak in our uh, in in our marketing funnel, especially from people I, I people from California, people from Michigan, people from Louisiana. Uh, even from Florida, they are contacting us as an alternative to make fundraising more creative. And, um, and though we are not at the stage to be sustainable, I still think that uh, we are doing something good. Future? I don't know. Uh, we will decide. We go step by step. On the beginning, I was... Capturing a lot of attention from the community. I was in Greensboro in a accelerator, and then Venture Cafe uh, was allowing me to make some connections, and they introduced me to Winston Starts, that is also an accelerator here in town. I think that investors don't invest, obviously, in businesses that they have a more focused on people and the and a social impact. Unfortunately, it's that way. It is what it is. I cannot, uh, I cannot change that. And I didn't get any investment. So every, every, everything that I have done so far 
has been because of my savings or because I am growing organically. But that growing organically takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, and um, and at some point you say you say, "Hey, I am running out of my uh, money, and I will not achieve what I want." At that time, you say, "Okay, what can I do? Uh, move on, <laughs> or or continue?" So I'm very impatient, <laughs> so I had to train myself to be more patient. Uh, I had to train myself to accept myself as what I am and not what I want to be, especially with uh, when I was mentioning uh, the language barrier. For me, it was a big issue for many, many years. And now I am accepting. I have an, a choppy English and I cannot change that. That's going to be forever. But uh, still, I can do a lot of things with this choppy English. I just need a little bit of a trust from people. <laughs> I think that my English is improving anyway, because uh, when you are uh, trying uh, and force yourself to communicate, you are improving. But uh, to be honest, and I don't want to go into this route, but I have lived in five countries and the United States has been the country that has been more difficult to, to bring down all those barriers. Just because I am a woman, I am a minority, I have the language barrier, I am old, comparing with other uh, companies or startups, uh, I am alone, so uh, I am a solopreneurship, a uh, solopreneur, so solopreneur. Okay, <laughs> extremely, extremely difficult to succeed in the United States, even though most people think that this is the land of opportunities. Uh, I will not give up. Never. That's something that I don't want to do any. Adriana, so what I would like to do, I just want to show you. Uh, a video that you made three years ago, apparently, <laughs> that was the title of The Hustle of Heroes. <laughs> and I want to kind of get, you know, ask you a couple of questions about that. So once you go, you can uh, press play. Uh, my name is Adriana Granados, and I found recently a company that the name is Pixgift. It's kind of a giving a meaningful use to images, logos, and uh, selfies, all this visual content that is on the internet. <laughs> I have my more wrinkles, <laughs> more grace. <laughs> uh, well, comparing, I think that it's a mindset. I keep... I would say that I still have the same mindset and the same beliefs. Um, probably at that time I did, I had more hope <laughs> than now. Uh, but I, I still think that um, most of the things that I said, uh, they are still here. I mean, nothing has changed too much especially in this community. And I would like to at least bring this message to our community that it takes a whole village to make changes. And if we continue in these silos, and the, you can see it everywhere, East, West, Wake, against other universities, uh, rich, poor. I mean, there's uh, black, white. I mean, every, every single, th there are so many divisions in this community rooted in the history of Winston-Salem that I don't see much of change. Maybe there is a little group that they want innovation, they want that change, but we are not permitting that. Uh, to the rest of the community. So there is a permanent disconnection between people that want or dream something, but uh, we are failing in that. And so I don't have the power, but only the to say, hey, if we cannot do this together, we will stay the same way. And it will pass 10 years and we are going to be the same way. 
Unfortunately, the political situation right now has influenced people to not to listen to each other. And when I say listening, it's not the some people to listen to the others. It's both sides to listen to each other and try to understand their own perspectives. Um, I, uh, I think that that is one of the biggest disconnections that we have in the United States right now. And if we don't learn to listen, we will not solve the problems. We, our problems are going to be bigger and bigger and bigger. And I come from a country that began at some point to be in this, uh, where we are today here. And people don't realize how bad has become things since I came here uh, 12 years ago. Uh, I see a decomposition, a societal decomposition, um, that is becoming worrisome, and we need to pay attention to that. I think that uh, I value very much the experience that I got in Winston Starts, though I, the final outcome from that was not a very positive one. But I learned a lot. I learned, I acquired a lot of knowledge. I developed many skills in myself thanks to them. This comes from my value system. I, I think that a mentor should be a person that doesn't have a personal agenda, but is someone that is willing to help you to grow uh, just for the sake to see you succeed. Um, because I, that's the way I behave myself when I mentor something someone. Um, that, that didn't happen to me. Um, and probably that's the reason why I feel a little bit hopeless. Uh, but that doesn't mean that it's going to ha happen to every single person. That's a personal experience. Um, if I would say that if uh, you find that big person that can mentor you, that can lead you to a better position, uh, take that opportunity. Making the analogy with uh, the architecture and when you are building something, every single experience is a brick and you are building a bit, you are building with bricks. So if you are, if you don't have a, a brick, you don't complete the building. Okay. So for me, Pixcave has is one of the many enterprises that I did in my life. It has been very rewarding because uh, I think that I am contributing to make a better world. Um, but at some point, it's gonna that will be a past experience, and I will move on into something else. Um, builders. Architects, entrepreneurs, we are building all the time new things. Uh, I hope that uh, I can create new things until the day I die. Uh, but probably it's not going to be at that time pigskip. It's going to be something different. I am uh, working on a few other ideas, and one is for uh, virtual events, because uh, especially for nonprofits, I see that they, are, they need a little bit more support uh, but also I want to combine my skills in architecture, skills in animation, in renderings, all the architectural field that I have as a background uh, combined with the knowledge that I acquired through Pixgift. So you go to my website, pixgift.com. You will see three different uh approaches. One is for fundraising and the other one is for cash registries. I like very much the cash registries because uh, I make people happy <laughs> and, uh, and uh, it's so much easier than working for in social issues. But my heart is in social issues too. So you can go there and uh, we will 
always have a brainstorming session with you to find out what are your goals and how we can help you to achieve them. Thank you.